In this video, we are going to integrate from minus pi to pi the function cosine square x over 1 plus 2 to the power x. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. One way to solve this kind of integral would be to make an appropriate substitution and to rewrite the whole thing into um, something that looks similar. So for this, I chose to let u equals minus x. I chose this because of the limits. One is pi and the other is minus pi. So um, one multiplied by minus one will become the other. And that um, the numerator is an, an even function. So that by using this substitution, the numerator will still become, uh, it's still the same. So let's see what happens. Then the differential du is clearly minus dx and the limits will then eventually become from pi to minus pi. So the order is reversed. Now, as I said before, x is minus u and uh, cosine minus u is still cosine u. So basically the structure of the top part of the function remains the same. As for the denominator, it becomes 1 plus 2 to the power minus u. And dx equals minus du. And it so happens that I can use this minus sign to help reverse the order of the limits and return it back to the way it started. And so the, the integral is actually almost the same, except that the index at the bottom, 2 to the power x, becomes 2 to the power minus u. Or if we even go back to the variable x using dummy variable, then it's exactly the same, except that um, the index of 2, the power of 2 becomes from x turns to minus x. So now at this point, I can let i be the original integral. And so we have two ways to write i. One way is cos squared over 1 plus 2 to the power x. And the other will be cos squared over 1 plus 2 to the power minus x. So I'm now going to add them together. And so we will have 2i. Notice that 2i is then equal to we have the same limits same denominator, same numerator, so I can take that out as a common factor. And now we'll have this expression. And I can now focus on the 2 to the power x and simplify that. make the second fraction less look less complicated. I'm going to multiply both parts by 2 to the power x. So we have this. And we find out that the sum of these two fractions is actually 1, because now they have the same denominator. And we can add them directly, and it becomes 1. So the integral is, becomes much easier. And we realize that if we actually double the integral, then we can rewrite that as just integrating cos squared x. Using double angle identity. And then we can finally integrate the function. So we have x over 2 plus sine 2x over 4 with the limits minus pi to pi. And because uh, no matter we put pi or minus pi into the sine term, it will still get zero. So evaluating, we will have pi over two minus minus pi over two, which is pi. And this is actually equal to two i, double of the integral. So we've come to conclusion that our original integral equals 
pi over 2. So this is the answer. Just one interesting remark, which is that if we try to change this number, the base 2, into any positive number, so I can say that for any positive number, integrating from minus pi to pi of the function cos square x over 1 plus a to the power x, I can follow the exact same argument by rewriting into cos squared x over 1 plus a to the power minus x. So I can say that is equal to this integral. Okay, and so therefore if I let i equals this, then 2i again equals the integral from minus pi to pi of cos squared x times 1 plus 1 over a to power x plus 1 over 1 plus a to minus x dx. And we will have the exact same result. Using the same argument, we will have this kind of integral all to be equal to pi over 2, regardless of the value of a, as long as it's positive.